challenges uh, we are facing uh, are actually the same as uh, every colleagues in Europe uh, are facing. This is um, uh, the financial crisis, the lack of public money, uh, the searching for the production, the, the difficulties uh, how to uh, pack the financial structures and also uh, if we look a bit uh, wider it's also uh, attracting new audiences or keeping the audience because uh, just directly in the cinema we are all facing the losing the audience but uh, how to attract new young audience and uh, how to interest them for um, to be uh, constant cinema goers. Uh, well, Class Enemy is 100% national production. It's a first time movie from the director Rog Bicek, um, presented in Settimana della Critica and uh, uh, the reactions uh, from the industry are very, very positive, with good reviews, uh, with uh, in uh, all um, papers, with uh, great buzz on the festival, with uh, and also with some interest for the sales already and distribution. So we are very, very proud and very, very successful uh, that we supported this movie. And uh, the second movie, which we have in the same section in Settimana della Critica, uh, is film uh, Zoran, my nephew idiot, uh, Zoran il mio nipote scemo in Italian. It's Italian Slovenian co production, it's a natural co production actually shot on the border between Slovenia and um, Italy uh, with uh, the local story and uh, it also uh, has very good uh, uh, projections here uh, at the festival so we are very proud and very satisfied uh, with, the, 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 with the result we have on this festival. Actually, Zoran is uh, regionally supported from the Friuli Venezia Giulia uh, region and uh, of course Slovenia as a nation, uh, nationality because we don't have uh, exact regional funding in Slovenia. Uh, but uh, as we um, uh, we were uh, evaluating the project. We see the potential uh, in the story, which is very, uh, which was very regional, and uh, uh, we also thought that maybe um, we must support and develop the stories, um, which are connected somehow uh, uh, historically, culturally, with the with the uh, with the uh, the regions which are um, bordering Slovenia so we try to support films from uh, let's say eastern part of Italy from Austria also we are searching Croatia and so on because th th this is geographically very small region uh, uh, let's say it middle Europa in some sense and uh, it has the same historical roots it's uh, it has same cultural roots uh, and uh, sometimes there was an iron curtain which is uh, now when we are all uh, member of European Union doesn't exist but uh, I think that uh, the film also tells the story that the, the, even there is no border uh, physical border anymore there is a border in the heads of the people and only with such a pro projects we we can uh, on the long term delete uh, this border which is still in the heads of the people But it's statistically proven that uh, each co-production can reach a better audience than just pure national films. Uh, and uh, uh, especially now, in these days, uh, when it's so hard to raise the finances for, uh, to shoot the film, I think the solution is in a, 
in a co-productions, regional, uh, story-based uh, or even uh, service-based co-production, but uh, because the co-productions doesn't just collect uh, more money uh, for the production, but they also uh, create the, the exchange of the people, the exchange of the knowledge, the exchange of the culture, and uh, this is the European idea, and I think that co-production is also in some ways uh, 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 exchanging or um, uh, the European idea. Well, Slovenia was very late on the digitalization, but uh, uh, in this year we made a bigger, big step toward uh, digitalization with support. Uh, quite uh, many uh, so-called art house cinema through our film center for, uh, we financially supported the digitalization so we hope that uh, this year and also next year we uh, we will have we will digitalize um, uh, most of our art house and uh, art house network uh, and uh, uh, regarding, let's say, multiplex networks, I think uh, they will be digitalized till the end of the year in Slovenia. So um, uh, I hope we will not lose many cinemas. Uh, actually, with the establishment of art house cinema network in Slovenia, their importance uh, or uh, their general admissions are growing every year, you know, uh, not on a big level, but if you compare the, the, the admissions in multiplexes are falling and the, the art house is uh, rising, so how, somehow uh, they are becoming more and more important player on our market. and. Um, uh, we also um, uh, develop with them many projects of so-called uh, cinema education programs, uh, building audiences, uh, uh, establishing young audiences and other, uh, other small projects which are crucial, you know, uh, to put uh, some added value uh, to the cinema, not, not to be just a presenter, but to be event or uh, in some sense or educational place for young and also established audiences uh, to attract the people towards the, the cinema again. Very important thing uh, which we are doing now is also that uh, together with the Ministry of uh, Culture uh, we wrote a very uh, very ambitious plan uh, of national program for the culture for the period of the next four years and uh, uh, which are based uh, towards uh, film education, digitalization, audience building and also restructuring our uh, national law, bringing uh, uh, some non-budget sources from distribution, uh, cinema tickets, uh, television stores, film center. So we, we, we are facing a lot of work and uh, new task to bring uh, national cinema on the better level, I hope. We try to establish Porto Roj not just as a review or um, a festival um, of national cinema, but in last years we added uh, to the festival also so-called industry section, so uh, uh, it's domestic industry section, as, as it is domestic festival, we try to organize workshops on different topics, uh, we try to bring professionals there and so on. So. Uh, uh, we will have a lot of new films this year. We will have uh, two titles, Adria Blues and um, Dual, which were presented in Karlovy Vary. We will have a Serbian uh, 
Film Circles, uh, which was awarded in Sundance and then Berlin uh, and then uh, many festivals, which was our ma minor co-production. The films we have in Venice and uh, we have also some other films which were, will be finished just before the festival uh, and we believe that they will be um, uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, also a national box office hits. Uh, that's a sequel of um, uh, of uh, Going Our Way, which uh, was uh, the most viewed uh, Slovenian film a couple of years ago. There's a film, Cefurs Raus, uh, from Goran Vojnovic, uh, which was based on a bestseller uh, book. Uh, 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 so, uh, so we are expecting very fruitful uh, festival, including also some very good animations presented this year in Annecy and some uh, also good documentaries, which were fi which were finished uh, uh, recently. So, um, in general, we have. I think very good uh, year of national cinema. Uh, uh, the films which are result of, um, let's say, establishment of film centers two years ago. So these are the projects which were approved in the first year of a film center and are now coming to the audience. Uh, we know that in film you need time to, uh, from the decision making of a uh, uh, of financing towards the presentation to the audience, uh, which is approximately two years, and now uh, in front of us there are, let's say, fruits which uh, we we plant uh, two years ago.